Good morning, friends. It's time to get ready for a road trip. So, yep, I had to head to the car wash this morning before the sun comes up. It's kind of been part of the problem lately, guys. I haven't put out any videos because I haven't been going anywhere or doing anything. It's just been too dang hot. And it's not just the 110 degrees that it gets during the day around here. I mean, it's been over 100 a lot lately. It's that it doesn't cool off at night. This morning, the sun's not even up yet. I'm already kind of sweating. It's about 88 degrees. Be 90 as soon as that sun pokes out, and we'll head straight back up to the triple digits. So, yep, even with my little air conditioner, it's just not comfortable, really, to go camping in North Texas in the summer. Not for me, anyway. Um, a few people have mentioned that it's probably because my van's not real well insulated and that's why the air conditioner can't cool it off in there. While insulation does have a little bit to do with it, I kind of beg to differ. When it's uh, 98 degrees at midnight, it, it's hard to cool it off in there, guys. I don't care how much insulation you have. I just got this AC a few months ago. I thought it was a 13,000 BTU, but I think after uh, checking it out a little more, I think it's a 12,000. But I wanted to show you, I've shown you this before, but a couple of people have asked how my AC is set up. Well, excuse the mess, guys. I'm here to clean, so this will be better in a minute. But there's my air conditioner, and it sits there and it blows on my bed. And I've got the little vent hose here hooked up to an outside vent here. And yeah, apologize for the low light, but guys, this is the only time of day I can do this video. So this is my inverter. I do not run my air conditioner off my inverter. I can only run it off of shore power, and I use this big heavy-duty um, yellow wire there. I think it's a 10-gauge to run that. Yep, that's how that's done. But no, I do not think it will run off my solar for about more than about five minutes. So yep, like I said, I love that thing. I love my air conditioner. It works great, but said it's just still not that much fun in uh, late July or August to camp in, in Texas, in North Texas. Just doesn't ever cool off, guys. All right, I'm going to do a little cleaning up and get ready to go on a road trip. I'm going to go somewhere where it does cool off. <laughs> better. Uh. Alrighty. Whew. Yeah, it's hot. So I've had a couple other people ask me about my little Coleman cooler here. Um, I said I'm not a full-time van dweller. If I was, this would not work at all. The only way it actually works for me is when I do go on a trip, I line the bottom of it with frozen water bottles and then I put my food on top of that. Then I go ahead and plug it in and it'll keep, it will blow cool air and with the, the ice bottles in there, it really chills it down. Once those ice bottles are gone though, it pretty much keeps it 30 degrees below whatever the room temperature is. So if it's 80 degrees in my van, you guessed it, fridge doesn't work. So it's really only any kind of worthy in the dead of winter. So I do not recommend it. I highly do not recommend it. The only reason I have it and the reason that I still use it is it was a gift. It was free. So um, yeah, I'm using what I've got. Saving up my pennies for an ingle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll show you the fridge and how it works a little bit. Uh, I do apologize about the darkness, but if I wait till it's light, I will be melted. <laughs> but, yep, as you can see, it's a good size fridge and that little blower there on the side right there that's what does its job and this will run off a cigarette lighter connection or I can plug it in 12 volt right there so yep it does the trick for a weekend but like I said I sure wouldn't wouldn't call this an option for a full-time full-time solution nope so my sweaty self is gonna finish getting this van ready for a road trip I sure do appreciate you watching and hanging out with me this morning hopefully you will join me on my adventures coming up and uh, see where I'm going to end up. So thanks a lot, guys. Stay lost, my friends.
See, it's hot and sweaty, guys. It's probably almost 7 a.m. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> so, meanwhile, yeah, that wind's going to be on. Uh, sorry, that fan noise is just going to be on. It's hot. <laughs> um, yeah.